woke up and I look like trash. And I'm gonna go get a coffee and then I'm gonna start the video. <laughs> okay, I got my coffee. It doesn't taste very good. But it'll do. So my birthday was last week and I got a really exciting birthday gift. I'm gonna open it and and set it up and then I'm gonna make a shirt with it. I don't actually know how to set up a serger. I know how to use them, but I don't know how to thread it. I don't know how to set it up. So I think I'm going to read the instructions and probably look up some videos on how to do it. Um, yeah. Also, I was explaining to someone the other day what a serger is and I, I told them that it had three needles. So I don't know. box it's like a little confusing right now I'm not really sure like oh, this is a cord clearly oh it's the, it's the foot what's this oh that's where the thread goes fun stuff the machine hey look so magical wrapped in this Plastic. What? There's already fabric in here? What? There's already thread in here? What? Writing a serger is very confusing, especially if you don't know what the f you're doing, like me. While I wait for my mom, I'm going to prepare a snack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Okay, she's set up. <laughs> it's been a few days. I was going to open the serger and then just get straight to my project. And I did do that, but the clips I got ended up being like 45 minutes of me being confused by this project. Oh my gosh, I can't get this in here. I don't really understand how the neck. I feel like this is gonna go horribly wrong. Oops, maybe I wasn't supposed to cut these. I'm gonna do it again now. This will be the third time that I'm doing it. The first time I did it, it worked. Is the lighting really bad here? Okay, maybe that's better. I did the project twice. <sighs> there's like a there's like a cat hair on the lens. The first time I accidentally cut open like the underarm right here, so I ended up with two giant holes in the armpits or a hole in each armpit. Then I took the sleeves apart and. I tried to like add a little bit to fill in that hole. Uh, first I'm gonna make it as the pattern, you know, wants me to make it. And then I'm going to try to add like a, like a gusset or something to give me some more reach. The first thing I'm gonna do is open up my sock. And I'm going to use these socks. I chose these because I was hoping that they would actually be like big. 
like all of these socks have a size range from 6 to 12 which is like a massive range and really I don't want a size 6 sock I want like a size 10 or 12 sock I'm hoping these are bigger first of all it says you need eight pairs of socks I'm not sure why it says you need eight pairs of socks I only use four First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the sleeves. I'm going to cut off the toes and the cuff of some socks. Okay, so these are the socks that we're going to use for the sleeves and we're going to use those for the neckband. We have our two pairs of socks, so I'm going to sew that together and these together. So now we have this which is the shoulders and the sleeves. The next thing we're gonna do is cut the socks for the body. For the body, you need two pairs of socks, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the toes off, and then we're gonna cut them all the way open on the inside. After you cut the toe off the sock and then cut it open, you are going to turn it inside out, like so, and just bring the heel up so it looks like this. And then you're just gonna stitch, <laughs> focus! <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stitch right across the heel and that's gonna create like a dart for our bust. So then after you sew it, it looks like this. And then that's gonna be like <laughs> the body. Now we have four pieces like this. And it's going to be the center front, side, side, center, back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find the best one, and that's going to be the center front. Some of these ended up different lengths. Like, you can see this one's super long, so I'll probably make this one the back. For, for this project, in the instructions, it doesn't specify this. At least, I don't think it does. But you want to sew everything on the inside. What that means is you want to take the side that you want on the outside, and you want to put them together, and then you want to sew it on the inside so then when you open it, it's nice and clean. Now we have this. That's the front, that's the back. Now I'm going to go like this and stitch that and then we'll have basically a tube top which we're gonna attach to those sleeves. And this is when you would wanna iron all of these darts out. Um, I don't have an iron though, so I'm just gonna work, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do that later. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to attach these sleeves to the body. This part is a little tricky because you have to do it inside out like I said before and you just have this little space to fit the body into. To attach the sleeves to the body, how am I going to explain this? Your shoulders have a seam down the middle. So what I do is I pin the center front to the center front, center back to the center back, side seams to the sides of these and then I pull it and pin the rest around in a circle. Does that make sense? Yeah. I don't have anyone to help me film, so I'm just gonna show you it after I pin it and hope it makes sense. Maybe this is a little like confusing as to what this is, but it's the body and the sleeves and they're pinned wrong sides together just in the front and I'm gonna do the front first Take it off the machine, pin the back, and then make sure it's all connected in basically a circle. To attach the oh. <laughs> to attach the other side, you want to turn the whole thing inside out, and then you can just um, like pinch it together like this, and just so. Now for the fun part, I'm going to turn it right side out and see if it worked. This is what it looks like right now once you've attached the sleeves to the body. You can see I have a little hole right here. I'll have to turn it back around and stitch it again. So the next thing we're going to do is the neck in the front. You're going to cut it lower than the back. Pretty easy. Basically just cut a neck shape. We're going to take our two little cuffs that we saved and we're going to clip clip and then stitch them together to make the neckband. Okay, I have my two little pieces. I'm just going to go like this. So then you have these and you're gonna put your right sides together and just stitch the top and stitch the bottom. Good. 
that's gonna be our neck band. Ugh. It's hella stretchy, so it'll like stretch in there and it'll make it look really good. I'm gonna use this black portion as a guide, so I'm gonna cut down here and make my neck hole. <laughs> pretty wide so you can cut you can um, put on this if you want I hope I didn't cut this too wide it looks pretty wide no it's fine I feel like when you add the neck uh, it makes it look more like a real top putting the little tiny uh, ribbing into the neck hole you just want to pin the sides first and then you just really got to stretch that out so it fits now everything is inside out and pinned in and I'm gonna sew it now and then it'll be done okay it's done it looks hella small but I have a feeling this one might be better because these socks are kind of big and like hella stretchy let's go see <laughs> This is the finished top. You can see there's a hole right there, but nothing you can't fix. It looks pretty good. It could definitely benefit from some ironing. Overall, it worked. It's a little tight in the armpits, but it's not terribly uncomfortable. I think it worked pretty well. Yeah, it definitely needs to be ironed. After making that black top, I decided to go rogue and make another version following basically the same instructions but adding a gusset to the underarm and then adding an extra piece above the body below the shoulder portion to the front and the back. And I created this. <laughs> so I added this piece here and I added an underarm gusset and I accidentally made her turtleneck but whatever and it worked really really well this version is way more comfortable if you're confident with your sewing abilities just add a gusset and maybe an extra sock to the front and the back and it'll be way more comfortable <laughs> if this looks interesting to you and you want me to do a full tutorial on how I made this one um, just let me know in the comments and I will do that. I, I made a little like TikTok, so I'll, I'll put the TikTok in the video so you can see like the basics of what I did. I'm not like loving the color <laughs> combination. Kind of wish I didn't do like white on the top and then like dark gray for the bottoms of the sleeve. It's like pretty harsh. You can see the gussets that I added are basically little diamonds. And then I just added this piece here and then there's one on the back too. This one's actually very, pretty comfortable. It's still like a really form-fitting top, so it's like in your armpits, but at least now it's not digging into your armpits with the gusset. I'm finally happy with this version. This was try number four with some slight modifications. I think you can figure it out. 